Now we were talking about the lever, and I want to continue talking about it. The lever comes from the French language, and specifically from a word called levant, which means to raise up. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? So that's what the lever is. It's a French word. What does it do? It amplifies. It amplifies the what? The input force, yielding up a larger output force. That's what this guy does. It amplifies the input force, yielding up a larger output force. So let's draw a picture of our friend the lever over here with an example. So let's say we have a big weight over here. It's 24 pounds. 24 pounds. We'll call this weight, weight one. Here's the middle of the weight. And it's on this plank. And right about here, there's the fulcrum. Pretty bad fulcrum, I know. And here's the, uh, here's weight two. It extends right to the middle of weight two. And this plank to the middle of weight one. And let's say this guy here. Well, that really looks bad. Let me clean that up a bit. There we go. And let me try again. Take two. Here we go. That's a W. Let's say this guy is three pounds. This guy's 24 pounds. This is three pounds. Now, the distance from the middle of this fulcrum to here, whoops, here went just a bit too far. To here, oh, I still went too far. I'm fired. Okay, there we go. To there, to the middle of Mr. Weight, is, let's say that's eight feet. Three pounds. 24 pounds, and this distance from here, oh, that was super bad. Let me draw the line going down here, okay, and like that, and like this. And this is one foot. Now, this is perfectly balanced right now, so these guys equal each other. Oh, put that into equation form. All right, three pounds times eight feet equals 24 pounds times one foot. All right, let's say that again. Uh, that 24 pounds times one foot equals the, uh, say, three pounds times eight feet. Let's put that into letters. We'll call this uh, distance one, and this will be distance two. All right? We got weight two, distance two, weight one, distance one. All right, now, here we go. I'm going to say this again. Weight one times distance one equals weight two times distance two. We just said that about 24 times one equals three times eight. Very understandable. Now, the next thing that we do is we're going to divide both sides by W1, like so. Well, if I do that, what's going to happen? This will cancel out, and it'll give me D1, D sub 1, D1, distance 1, which is 1 foot, is equal to what? Well, W2 times D2 times over W1. Let me write it this way. 1 over W1, W1 times W2 over 1 times D2 over 1. Well, I don't have to write it like that. If they're over 1, they're equal to themselves. I could just bring it down like that. And we're good. All right. Okay, let's clean it up a bit. Okay. Now, the plot thickens now. I have D1 equals 1 over W1. This, this thing over here, just rewritten, yes, as 1 over W1 times W2 times D over two, D sub 2. W sub 2 times D sub 2, yes? Okay. Now, I can now divide both sides by dz, because it's this times this times that. Yeah, I can do that. So I can divide and say d1 over dz, d2. Looks like a z. d1 over d2, I'm going to divide that by d2, equals, well, uh, I can just cross that out. 1 over w1 times w2, and I divide it by d2, so he's gone. Let's rewrite this now. d1 sub 1 over d sub 2, d2, equals w2 over w1. Because when I multiply these two guys, that's what I essentially have. All right, so what am I saying here? I'm saying the weight of the second guy, the big guy, is to the weight of the first guy, as the distance of the on the left is to the distance on the right. Well, that was like this, right? It was the 24. It was one foot to here. It's eight feet to here. And three feet, three pounds. Right to there. This was eight, and this was one. So W2 is to W1. 24 is to three. Uh, no, W2. This is W2 here. W2 and distance 2, and W1, distance 1. So W2 is to W1, 3 is to 24. 
3 is to 24, as d1 is to d2, 1 is to 8. If you reduce 3 over 24, you're going to get 1 over 8, and they're equal. Wow. Okay, that's that was a nice exercise in mathematics. What is this that you're showing me? This is called mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage is this. Uh, so, W2 is to W1 as D1 is to D2. That's your mechanical advantage. Oh. Huh. Well, mechanical advantage, huh? All right, we'll talk more about that in a subsequent video. Good? I don't want to put too much into one video. But this is called mechanical advantage. So that you just, by putting a little bit of pressure over here, you can have a big effect on the other guy over here. Wow, mechanical advantage. Hmm. Okie dokie. Uh, let's end this now. This is George Ball. Say, bye-bye.